So good morning class again. I am Engineer Kumar Harshwadan and I am taking classes on behalf of Pride India Central School. So today we will be discussing about physics of class 9th. So basically in the last class we all have discussed about distance, we have discussed about displacement, we have discussed what is the vector quantity, what is the scalar quantity and we have discussed about velocity and all these things. So now we are going to discuss about some other topics such as acceleration, retardation and all these things. So basically as you all know that as we have studied what is velocity, velocity is nothing but the distance traveled in a particular direction divided by the time taken. So velocity is nothing but the distance traveled in a particular direction, okay, in a particular direction divided by the time taken, distance traveled in a particular direction divided by the time taken. So similarly, if I need to define acceleration, how I can define acceleration? What well, if I need to define acceleration? How I need to define acceleration? Acceleration is nothing but the velocity. And acceleration is nothing but the velocity and uh, this change in velocity divided by the time taken. So acceleration is nothing but that is the change in the velocity. Change in the velocity divided by the time taken for the change and no? acceleration nothing but the change in the velocity divided by the time taken for the change but velocity was velocity was distance traveled in a particular direction divided by the time taken so what we can say when when thus a body is said to be accelerated no? when a body is said to be in acceleration when there is a continuous movement of the body when the velocity of the body is increasing then the body is said to be in acceleration when the velocity of the body is said to be increasing okay then the velocity of the body is said to be increasing then the body is said to be in acceleration then the body is said to be in acceleration suppose for example, if I take, if I tell you, when a velocity of the body is said to be increasing, suppose if I take the velocity time graph, okay, this here we represent the velocity, here we represent the time, so say this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, this is say 10, 20, 30, 40, okay, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 0, so the velocity goes on increasing. Oh, this first hour 10, 20, 30, sorry here. It will be here around 30 and then it will be here around 4. No. So what happens? The velocity of the body is continuously increasing and the, the velocity of the body is continuously increasing. And so we call it as when the velocity of the body is said to be increasing, then we call that the body is said to be in acceleration. So here we can say that the body is in acceleration. If the body is in continuous continuous acceleration the body is in continuous acceleration the body is in continuous acceleration so i think this you might uh, have understood it's very simple uh, as we have studied in the early classes what's velocity so this again is acceleration is again we can define it in terms of velocity acceleration is nothing but a change in velocity divided by the time taken okay so now we'll move on to what is the si unit of acceleration okay okay so so far we have seen velocity acceleration what is uh, acceleration when the velocity of the body is continuously changing then the body is said to be in acceleration okay so now we'll go to further and we have to see what is the sign of acceleration and we also need to see what is the change in velocity because as we have seen what we have seen acceleration is nothing this is acceleration okay is nothing but the change in velocity divided by the time taken for the change so this what is this now change in velocity so now change in velocity can be equal to change in velocity can be equal to final velocity minus the initial velocity, 
final velocity minus the initial velocity. Now, what you understand by final velocity and what you understand by initial velocity? Suppose, let us take for an example that you start from your house in a car and you have to reach a certain distance, say B. So, you start from A and you have to reach B. You start from A and you have to reach B. Here, you start with a car. Okay, and then you have to travel to distance with the same car and reach here. What happens in the initial phase that when your car is at rest, when your car is at rest, that is when the car is at rest means it is in the stop position. Right? There is no movement in the car and it is in the stop position and its ignition may be on or may be off. Okay, so when the car is at rest, what happens? It's initial velocity is 0 ok change in velocity was initial velocity divided by the my, my, sorry final velocity minus initial velocity so when a car is at rest its initial velocity is 0 ok its initial velocity is 0 how come because there is no movement in the car let the initial velocity let the initial velocity B shown by or represented by say U ok now you start the car now you start the car from here you let's uh, you you switch on the ignition put on the gears and then start the car what happens the car starts moving and suppose the car has attained a speed of say 20 kilometers per hour Therefore, its final velocity of the car is 20 kilometers per hour. It means, it means that the car has attained the speed that is the final velocity say v is equal to 20 kilometers per hour okay this is zero this is key v okay so we represent you need to remember this you need to remember this that the initial velocity is represented by u and the final velocity is represented by v okay the initial velocity is represented by u and the final velocity is represented by v so what we can say here so here what we can say is that change in velocity is equal to nothing but v minus u can be said change in velocity is nothing but v minus u okay i give you an example suppose so you have to go from A to B. Initially, your car is at the rest position. It's not moving. Bilkul gaadi hill nahi rahi hai. Bhali wo gaadi ki engine on ho ya off ho. Lekin agar gaadi hill nahi rahi hai, rest position pe to kya hoga? Uska maan sakte hain ki initial velocity will be equal to zero. Uska initial velocity kya hua? Zero ho gaya. Ab humne gaadi chalana shuru kar diya. Aur humne ek speed pe laya, ek usko ek constant velocity ya constant speed pe laya, which is said to be as 20 kilometers per hour. To kya hoga? Final velocity jo gaadi ne attain kiya hai, wo mera kya hai? 20 km per hour है तो हम initial velocity को u से represent करते हैं final velocity को हम v से represent करते हैं तो taking this into account now how do we write the formula for this so write of this okay so taking this into account we know that let the acceleration b shown by a acceleration को हम A से दिखा रहे हैं change in velocity change in velocity is nothing but final velocity minus V velocity okay minus initial velocity this implies that final velocity will be by V U and time and time is given by T therefore the equation becomes 
how much you put a is equal to this is therefore you know a is equal to our change in velocity is what v minus u divided by t so this is the formula a is equal to v minus u divided by t what is the formula a is equal to v minus u divided by t where a is the acceleration v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity and t is the time taken for the change so a is equal to v minus u divided by t this is the formula that you to you need to remember this is very very important okay so now let us derive the si unit of this i think you should all note it down i am again telling you all the notes once the school reopens i will check all the notes of the students and if the notes are not prepared that's not good then then the signs are not good it means that then you are not studying so therefore you please prepare all the notes do all the questions which i will be i will be giving giving to you and please please and please i request you to solve all the ncert questions now no questions in the ncert should be left out if you have any doubt you can text me on that issue okay so now we'll go for the you have understood this so now we'll learn about the si unit of s i unit of acceleration what will be the s i unit of acceleration if you look at the formula what is this this is v minus u divided by t as we have seen this is v minus u divided by t okay if you go further we know that it is change in velocity a for acceleration okay don't confuse here this a here is for acceleration okay so change in velocity it is change in the velocity divided by the time taken we have already seen that velocity is nothing what velocity is nothing but the uh, velocity what is velocity distance traveled distance in a particular direction in a particular direction divided by the time taken t is nothing but the time taken so we can write this velocity is nothing but meter per second we know velocity is nothing but meter per second so now see what we will do velocity is nothing but meter per second distance is in meters time is in meter per second now acceleration we have change in velocity divided by time taken what's velocity meter per second so if i take it here you will see that velocity is meter per second acceleration is change in velocity so velocity is meter per second so this i can write is as meter per second time is again second to second so what does it become it becomes meter per second square if you remove this sign the slash if you remove this then you need to write meter per second to the power of minus 2 so this is basically this both you know it's it, it's just the different way of writing so this is what is the si unit of acceleration okay what do you say si unit of acceleration meter per second Square okay S I unit of acceleration can be written as meter per second square, है ना? Or the higher unit, or if you go the higher unit can be kilometer per hour square, or even higher miles per hour square. Okay, so definitely I think that this would be very much easily understood by you. How do we derive to the S I unit of acceleration? हम लोग कैसे S I unit पर पहुँचते हैं? S I unit को याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है अगर याद हो गया तो बहुत अच्छा है नहीं याद हो रहा है तो हम इस तरह से डिवाइड कर लेंगे मन में सोचेंगे एक्सिलेशन क्या होता है एक्सिलेशन इज नथिंग बट द चेंज इन वेलोसिटी डिवाइडेड बाय द टाइम टेकन अब वेलोसिटी क्या होती है वेलोसिटी हमको पता है डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाई टाइम टेकन इसका मतलब डिस्टेंस इन मीटर्स टाइम इन सेकेंड देखो वेलोसिटी इज मीटर पर सेकेंड सो विल पुट हियर वेलोसिटी मीटर पर सेकेंड है ना हम यहाँ क्या करेंगे वेलोसिटी में क्या डालेंगे हम यहाँ पे मीटर पर सेकेंड टाइम हमें पता है हम सेकंड में मेजर करते हैं सो दिस बिकम्स मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर दिस इज द सेम व्हाट वी हैव रिटन हियर मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर नाउ वी विल लुक दैट लुक एट इट दैट वेदर अब हम ये देखेंगे कि क्या एक्सीलरेशन एक स्केलर क्वांटिटी है या एक वेक्टर क्वांटिटी है तो आपको क्या लगता है इज एक्सीलरेशन एक स्केलर क्वांटिटी और इज इट अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी x 
acceleration is the vector quantity. मैंने आपको बताया है स्केलर क्वांटिटी क्या होता है वेक्टर क्वांटिटी क्या होता है स्केलर क्वांटिटी इज द क्वांटिटी व्हिच हैज ओनली मैग्नीट्यूड बट नो डायरेक्शन वेयर वेक्टर क्वांटिटी इज अ क्वांटिटी व्हिच हैज मैग्नीट्यूड एज वेल एज डायरेक्शन बिकॉज़ वेलोसिटी को हम क्या कहते हैं वेलोसिटी को हम कहते हैं ना कि डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल इन अ पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन तो देखो जब एक्सेलरेशन में वेलोसिटी आ गया तो डायरेक्शन खुद ब खुद आ गया और जब डायरेक्शन आ गया तो इसका मतलब है कि वो वेक्टर क्वांटिटी हो जाए सो एक्सेलरेशन इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी बिकॉज मैंने छोटा में लिख दिया बिकॉज इट हैज बोथ मैग्नीट्यूड एज वेल एज डायरेक्शन मैंने शॉर्ट फॉर्म लिख रहा हूं डायरेक्शन का ये मत समझिए ये कुछ और है ये डायरेक्शन ही है तो क्या है एक्सेलरेशन इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी व्हिच हैज बोथ मैग्नीट्यूड एज वेल एज डायरेक्शन तो हमने क्या देखा है यहां पे हमने ये देख लिया कि a is equal to v minus u divided by t एक्सेलरेशन नथिंग बट मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर एंड एक्सेलरेशन इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी दीस आर द थ्री वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन अगर आपको एक्सेलरेशन के बारे में कोई पूछे तो आपको ये जरूर बताना है कि एक्सेलरेशन क्या होता है एक्सेलरेशन का ऐसा यूनिट क्या होता है और क्या एक्सेलरेशन एक वेक्टर क्वांटिटी है या फिर एक्सेलरेशन एक स्केलर क्वांटिटी है ठीक है अब हम आगे बढ़ेंगे दो तरह का एक्सेलरेशन होता है एक है यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन एक है नॉन यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन ओके ओके सो नाउ वी आर सीइंग यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन सो नाउ वी आर सीइंग यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन व्हाट इज यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन अ बॉडी इज सेट टू बी यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन एक बॉडी को तब कहा जाता है जब वो यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन में है कब जब इफ इट ट्रैवल्स इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन अगर वो स्ट्रेट लाइन में ट्रैवल कर रहा है सीधी दिशा में ट्रैवल कर रहा है एंड इट्स वेलोसिटी इंक्रीजेस बाय इक्वल अमाउंट इन इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम और उसका जो वेलोसिटी है वो इक्वल अमाउंट में इंक्रीज कर रहा है इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम में देन इट इज सेट टू बी यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन है ना एज अ बॉडी सेट टू बी यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन इफ इट ट्रैवल्स इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड इट्स वेलोसिटी इंक्रीजेस बाय इक्वल अमाउंट इन इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम जब कोई भी बॉडी एक सीधी दिशा में ट्रैवल कर रही है और जब उसका जो चेंज इन वेलोसिटी है है ना जो उसका चेंज इन वेलोसिटी है वेलोसिटी है वो क्या है इक्वल चेंज इन वेलोसिटी है इन इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम मतलब बराबरी का वो दूरी बराबरी समय में तय कर रहा है फॉर एग्जांपल आपको मैं ग्राफ क्यों समझाता हूं ये क्या होता है मैंने ये ग्राफ बनाया ओके ये 0 है ये 1 है ये 2 है ये 3 है ये 4 है दिस इज यू टेक इट एज टाइम दिस इज इन आवर्स दिस यू टेक इट एज velocity velocity say this is to be 20 this is not working i think 20 40 60 80 okay now what happens in the first hour the car travels say 20 km per hour okay in the first hour the car travels say 20 km per hour in the second hour again the car travels Say 40 km per hour. In the third hour, the car travels 60 km per hour. In the fourth hour, the car travels 80 km per hour. So if you see this, see what happened. Every hour, for every hour, the change in the distance or the change in the velocity is the same. Sorry, for every hour, it, it can also be said, said as. Velocity is nothing but distance travel in a particular direction divided by the time taken. So for every hour, see, for the first hour it has travelled 20. Second hour, okay, the velocity is 20 kilometers, okay, per hour. In the second, it is 40 kilometers per hour. In the third hour, it is 60 kilometers per hour. In the fourth hour, you can see it is 80 kilometers per hour. So for every hour you can see there is a uniform velocity. There is a change of just 20, 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for for every hour there is is a a change of a uniform velocity. So this is said to be a this, this case is said to be a case of uniform velocity. If the body it travels in a straight line, but keeping in condition that the body travels in a straight line, the condition is that. the body need to travel in a straight line because as soon as the body travels in a curved surface or 
apart from anything from the straight line, then there is a change. Uh, there is a change in the velocity because you have studied that in the previous classes. Uh, there, you, uh, there should not be any change in direction. It should travel in a straight line. This is one of the very most most important factors which need to be kept in mind. Therefore, this is nothing but uniform acceleration. So, can you tell me what are the examples? Some of the examples of uniform acceleration. Uniform exam. Some of the examples of acceleration. I need to rub this, okay? So I think I should rub this now. You might have all noted it down. What are the examples of uniform acceleration? Suppose, suppose, I have given you a cycle. Let it leave a slope. Let it leave a slope. Let it a cycle. Let it leave a cycle. I have said that you don't need to pedal the cycle to pedal the cycle. You do not need to pedal the cycle and I put you at this point and you are sitting on the bicycle from this point and I tell you, you don't need to pedal the bicycle and keeping in mind the air resistance to be negligible and we are keeping in mind that the air resistance is negligible and the air resistance is negligible and the air resistance is very simple and easy to breathe and what did I do? I gave you a slope and I said, I will sit here and 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 I will तो क्या होगा साइकिल जो है क्या होगा अपने आप नीचे गिरता चले जाएगा है ना इसको हम क्या बोलते हैं दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म एक्सीलेशन इफ यू आर नॉट पेडलिंग द बाईसाइकिल अगर आप बाईसाइकिल को पेडल नहीं कर रहे हैं और एयर रेसिस्टेंस को अगर मैं नॉन नॉमिनल लू तो क्या होगा उस केस में जो जिस तरह से आप या जिस वेलोसिटी से आप यहाँ जाएंगे इसको हम क्या बोलेंगे यूनिफॉर्म वेलोसिटी सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैंने इसी जगह पर एक बॉल रख दिया है ना एक जगह पर यहाँ पे बहुत 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 बड़ा मैंने फुटबॉल फुटबॉल रख दिया है ना और उसको स्लोप से छोड़ दिया ऐसे तो क्या होगा जिस तरह से वो गिरेगा उसको मैं क्या बोलता हूँ यूनिफॉर्म एक्सीलरेशन बोलता हूँ उसको मैं क्या बोलता हूँ यूनिफॉर्म एक्सीलरेशन है ना तो आप ये दो एग्जांपल लिख लीजिएगा एक कि सपोज अ बाईसाइकिल है ना सपोज अ बाईसाइकिल राइडर इज से टू टेक इस बाईसाइकिल ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द स्लोप एंड कीपिंग इन माइंड द एयर रेजिस्टेंस टू बी नॉमिनल The the bicycle uh, rider sits on the bicycle and does not pedal the bicycle. So the motion in which he is travelling or the the velocity with which he is travelling downwards towards the slope is known as uniform velocity. This is only known as uniform velocity. The same you can give it for the ball. Okay. अब हम पढ़ेंगे non-uniform acceleration. Okay. I think I should love this. अब हम पढ़ेंगे Non-uniform acceleration. What is non-uniform acceleration? Non-uniform acceleration. If the velocity increases. If the velocity increases unequally in equal interval of time, then it is said to be non-uniform acceleration. N U A means non-uniform. What is if there is an increase in the velocity, and if there is an increase in the velocity unequally, or if there is an increase in the velocity, if the velocity increases, increases unequal amount. If the velocity increases with unequal amount in equal interval of time, okay, if the velocity increases with unequal amounts in equal interval of time. अगर जो है velocity अनिकुल अमाउंट में बढ़ती है, इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ़ टाइम में, इसको हम क्या बोलते हैं? इसको हम बोलते हैं नॉन यूनिफॉर्म एक्सीलरेशन। है ना? इफ़ द वेलोसिटी इंक्रीज़ विथ अनिकुल अमाउंट इन इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ़ टाइम, इफ़ द वेलोसिटी इंक्रीज़ विथ अनिकुल अमाउंट इन इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ़ Can I take a small graph? Just make it here. 10, 20, 30. So 
the first travel this one second third so this you will see so Change in velocity is nothing but 
v minus u nothing but 5 minus 5 0 it means that acceleration becomes 0 got it therefore when the body is moving with uniform velocity its acceleration is said to be 0 acceleration is nothing but change in velocity by, by time taken change in velocity is nothing but final velocity minus initial velocity we represent final velocity by v initial velocity by u so for let the initial velocity u be say 5 km per hour you can say 10 you can say 2 you can say even 0 it doesn't matter and let the final velocity v is equal to 5 km per hour because why because it's uniform velocity the velocity with which it started is the same velocity which with, uh, it is completing or with which it is going so therefore initial velocity is u equal to 5 km per hour let the final velocity v is equal to 5 km per hour now the change in velocity is nothing but v minus u 5 minus 5 that is 0 therefore acceleration becomes 0 this is what is written here when the body is moving with uniform velocity its acceleration is said to be 0 i think you might have understood this very well now we will study about retardation and of this now what do you understand by retardation nothing it's very simple it's very same as acceleration but it is negative acceleration okay negative acceleration a double c i am writing in writing in short as x to acceleration i am writing a double c as short in form of acceleration okay so negative acceleration is called retardation or for a very layman i can say it when there is a decrease in the velocity continuously it is called as negative acceleration okay when there is a decrease in the velocity continuously then it is called as negative acceleration okay or if the velocity of a body is decreasing continuously it is said to be negative acceleration okay or retardation okay when the body when the velocity of body is increasing continuously jab bhi aapka koi gaadi chal rahi hai speed mein aur jaise jaise iski velocity kuch hi gaadi chal rahi hai uska velocity dheere dheere kam hote ja raha hai kam hote ja raha hai kam hote ja raha hai और ये आके इधर रुक गए है ना तो जो ये वेलोसिटी इसकी पहली ऐसे थी और फिर ये कम होते गए कम होते गए कम होते गए और आके ये रुक गई इसी को हम क्या बोलते हैं रिटार्डेशन और वी कॉल इट एज नेगेटिव एक्सीलरेशन ओके सपोज वी विल टेक अप एन एग्जांपल हियर ओके सो व्हाट इज नेगेटिव इट्स वेरी सेम इट विल बी सेम एज एक्सीलरेशन बिकॉज़ इट्स नथिंग बट नेगेटिव एक्सीलरेशन फॉर मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर एस आई यूनिट ओके इट विल बी द सेम ओके नो नाउ वी विल टेक अप क्वेश्चन सपोज नाउ वी आर टेकिंग अप अ क्वेश्चन आई विल गिव यू अ क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज um when a car is traveling at the initial velocity okay let the initial velocity of a car be 20 meter per second square for 20 meter per second velocity okay and its final velocity be 5 meter per second okay let the initial velocity of the car be 20 meter per second and the final velocity be 5 meter per second and the time say be equal to 5 seconds and it comes to rest in say 5 seconds so what is its a double c's acceleration or retardation okay so how will we solve this 
what are the things given? I have, as I already told you, first you need to write what all are the things given in the question. Very, very important. Even in your board examination, it's very important to write what are the things given. Think, the, think the person who is checking your answer sheet as he is a layman. He doesn't know anything. And you need to tell him about each and everything that you are pointing out of you or what you are trying to write in the answer sheet. So let the initial velocity of the car be 20 meter per second. So what initial velocity I represented by u is 20 meter per second. And final velocity I represented by v is 5 meter per second. Time given t is 5 seconds. So as we know that acceleration is v minus u divided by t. What is this? This is nothing but change in the velocity divided by the time taken. So a is will be equal to p is how much? 5 minus 20 divided by 5. This becomes minus 15 divided by 5. This becomes minus 3 meter per second square. This is what is called as retardation. This is what is called as retardation. V is 5, U is 20, time 5 seconds. So 5 minus 2 is minus 15 divided by 5 minus 3 meter per second. But this is only what is called as retardation. I think you might have all have understood what is retardation now. So next we will move on to the topic. Uh, I think it's average velocity. What is average velocity? Average velocity. AVG means average velocity. What is it? Average velocity is nothing but initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 is known as average velocity. So it means that u plus v divided by 2 and we write it as v bar. Okay, This is equal to v bar. We read it as v bar. Okay, So v bar is equal to u plus v divided by 2. This is nothing but what we call it as average velocity. So in the coming time or in the next classes we will learn about there are only two things left or only three topics left in the chapter that is uh, representation of the equation of motion the three equations of motion uh, okay s is equal to ut plus half at uh, at square and v is equal to u plus at all these things and graphical representation of that and one is the uniform circular motion only three topics are left and that will complete your chapter so i again once again request you all to kindly please 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 it's my humble request to please go through study on your own whatever i am teaching you here you also need to go and study there and then you will come to know what um, exactly where are you lacking behind or kahan kahan ko lagta hai ki nahi mujhe dikkatein ho rahi hai aur kahan kahan main apna sudhar kar sakta hu apne aap mein sudhar kar sakta hu mujhe ek bhi sawal ek bhi sawal siwa ek do bacche ke chhod ke nahi mil rahe hain jahan pe mujhe lag raha hai ki bachche log padhai kar rahe hain to mere aap se ek binti hai ek prarthna hai ki kya please you sit and study well in your home. That is the only work that you have. Study, play, study, play. I don't think there is, there is any other work that you have in your home. So please kindly, it's a request from Pride India Central School that you please kindly sit and study to all the students present. Okay. Thank you so much. And in the next class, we'll meet up with the next topics that I have already told you.